Hey, welcome back to Java with Jeff. I've got my beverage and I've got my Bible here with me today. And I want to look at a couple of verses and I want to talk about one word today. The word is anticipation. Are you anticipating anything in your life? Christmas is coming, Thanksgiving before that, my birthday is between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm anticipating all of those things, a chance to hang out with family, eat some food, play some games, uh, hang out. I grew up uh, anticipating those holidays with family around and playing games together, playing a football game or different things that we would do as a family. But more importantly than all of that, let me, let me just go to the deep end are you anticipating Jesus coming back? Because Jesus is coming back. The Messiah, Yeshua, is coming back. He's coming back a second time. And that's why I say all eyes on Israel, because Jesus is coming back one day. And are you anticipating that? I love what Jude says about anticipating Jesus' second return. Here's what he says in Jude chapter 1, uh, verses 20 and 21. But you, dear friends, build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. It's referring about Jesus' second return. It's anticipating that he's going to come back one day. And what are we supposed to do while we wait? Well, in the meantime, you're supposed to build yourself up with Jesus. Stay as close to Jesus as you possibly can. Keep praying and staying in communication with Jesus. Love God with everything you have. Keep your eyes open to what's happening in the world and on Israel, specifically the Mount of Olives when Jesus returns. Keep your eyes there because he could come back. We don't know when. People have predicted that time for centuries of when Jesus would come back. We don't know when. Jesus doesn't even know when. The Bible says the Father knows when, but the Son doesn't. And so I just want to be in anticipation about Jesus' second return when he comes back and he takes us home to heaven to be with him. When sin goes away, sadness goes away, mental health issues go away, everything goes away. Uh, so things are made right again. Won't that be a good day? I hope you anticipate that today as you look out the window, as you stare at creation, as you spend time with God. Anticipate Jesus' return. Well, we'll see you again next week.